Is Radla an uh, Austrian thing? Good. I, I don't know. <laughs> it feels good to be back in Vienna where I've got childhood friends. Mm -hmm. I think I miss that a lot. In London, it's just like all these good friends, but people that I know for just like a few years, maximum two years or mm -hmm. so. So it doesn't feel quite the same as like someone that I've known for like what yeah. we've known each other for I don't know yeah, like our no, whole it's lives. Same. It's a different level of comfort when I'm with you guys. Mm -hmm. It feels the same when you're here for me. Because like almost everyone left. Like I'm alone in Vienna. I know. <laughs> so. Sometimes I wonder whether I should have just stayed in Vienna and not left. No. But the thing is like even all of our close friends left. So even if I was mm -hmm. here, like you're the only one that's here right yeah, now. From yeah. our friend's circle, everyone kind of did leave and yeah. who knows if people will all come back, but... No, but it's like, you know, where life takes you. Yeah. Um, it's kind of nice that so, we're scattered and then there's like a friend that exactly. you can always visit. Yes. But at the same time, I miss you guys. I miss like... For me, it's so practical. I have one in every city true. in the world, so yeah, that's really nice. I just... I just tend to miss you guys because it's not the same when you live in a city where you've got individual friends mm -hmm. whereas like if you've got a friend group that mm -hmm. all knows each other mm -hmm. and I miss that feeling of just having that group of yeah. like childhood friends yeah, we've been through so much and yeah I just don't have that. I have to say them. when I like when I meet with you guys it's like you don't have to explain anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking of cutting my hair this short. Do you approve or no? Risky move. It is because it's gonna take like three years for it to yeah. grow back because it grows in spirals and not straight down. <laughs> My mom was like, "No, don't cut yeah. it. You're never gonna get it this long again." Yeah, but if not now, when? Exactly. When, you know? <laughs> exactly. When I've told other Malayalis, they be like, "Ah, atra prayas or like Yeah. Like, um, it's such a it's such a thing in our community yes. just to play down each yes. other's success. I don't. I loved my um, aunt and my uncle for that because when I made it. They didn't downplay my success. They were like, oh my god, look at you, you made it, you know, yeah. you were so great. There just needs to be more space for failure, more mm -hmm. acceptance of failure. Absolutely. And just like, making failure something normal, like, okay, yeah. you failed, alright, moving on, next step. The only reason why I wouldn't have told someone else that I failed was because I didn't. I wouldn't want my parents to look bad mm. at having a daughter who failed. No? This is exactly what it shows about our culture. It's like if your daughter fails an exam or something, then it's going to look bad on the parents. And yeah. It's just, just none of it makes sense, yeah. honestly. <laughs> but I'm glad that we're breaking out of it. At least mm. hopefully our generation will be more accepting of failures and weaknesses and vulnerability.
മുകളിലോട്ടും താഴോ അല്ലേ Hi Sylvia. <laughs> When you wanted to come for a little hike, but it's a lot harder than you expected. Hey, atra nalla jumma nisaram. 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 Sa. Sa. Nenu baka daily nadakku. Ich kann nicht glauben, dass wir es bis hier oben geschafft haben. Ich bin da drin. Can you guys look back at me please? Hey, yeah, thank you. Oh, I thought. Exactly. And then my the person who gets my patient data wasn't allowed to work in the hospital anymore because he's a medical staff. She's like a statistics guy. But I know it wasn't the name of So you're leaving good old teaching rather suddenly it's continued the decade of professorship and mind to chair the department and you don't know where you go you found floating on water staff changed to a snake waters that were parted so followers could be led to freedom seeped into the roman empire he didn't like what they became a giant killing machine he went to the near east thinking why not pass the most ഞാൻ വ്ലോഗിന് ഹിന്ദി ഹിന്ദി 
Tamil. Tamil. Hindi. Hä? Manchmal weiß man gar nicht. Wie bist du von da so runter? Manchmal muss man einfach so lange skippen, bis man genau das findet, wonach man will. Kisch. Im Moment kannst du sechs Songs pro Stunde. Ja. 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 Lagan. Lagan. Oh! Dangal. 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 Are you recording? Yes. Hello, I am back in London. Thanks for watching this Vienna vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching my dear moments with my family. Um, I genuinely really really enjoyed my time in Vienna this time. I think I spent like a good five weeks there which is which is just really really nice. Uh, I think I really needed that. Lockdown months had been quite tiresome after a while um, just having to like you know be by myself and take care of myself and do everything by myself. <laughs> um, I, had, I was starting to feel a little lonely. Um, adulting is tough as it is um, and without that support system around me, without being able to like see my friends and be with my family for a little bit, without that I just felt very weary and I was starting to feel quite low. I feel like by now I really should be okay with like adulting and living alone and you know taking care of myself because I'm an independent woman but every now and then it does feel nice to be taken care of by your loved ones, to be nurtured by them and just cherished by them and just feel like you know, when you're down and when you're low, you've got those like people around you to support you and be there for you. So yeah, this trip was much, much needed and I feel a lot more refreshed and energized and ready to be back in the game in London again. <laughs>